Hello everyone, uh, I'll take you through very simple steps to show you how you can generate a QR code from your app using Apple. So we're going to do use two things. One, we are in Apple, uh, where we will create an application. Basic one, just you put some text here or URL or any information. You click generate, it should generate for you a QR code. To do that, we're using API service from mashapi.com. So if you go there and search for Q, uh, uh, QR code, you will find many uh, apps there. Of course, you need to register. I already have one here, which I subscribe to, which called QR code generator. If you click there, then you will see uh, sorry, here it is. You click here, and then you go in. You will be able here to test it. So you put any content here. This is the content. We say hello, or put a URL, for example, http www.cnn.com, for example. And then you click on test. You need only that parameter. So it should generate for you a QR code and it's put in an image somewhere. Now, how we can configure this one on our app? First, we need to use this API address, which we need to copy. So I'm going to copy this one and come back to my app. I need to go here into service, add a new service, create a new service. And then I'll call it QR Generator. Create. Now the URL is what I did uh, copy, which it seems uh, going to be coming here. And then I need to have uh, some parameters. If you read here, this is the description. You need a header, a sign like a header. So the header name is X uh, mash ABK. So I copy this one, come back here, and then I go to the request and make sure I'm on the headers. We click here as I'm adding uh, the header. Now what are the value of the header? It's here. This is for my account because I subscribe to mash dot, uh, dot com. And this is the one I can use for this uh, application. Let me just make sure I did copy it. So come here and put it here. Good. Now what I need as well, I need uh, to send the parameter to the uh, Apple so that can uh, test uh, the, the, the data I have. Now, Going back here and looking at these are the parameters. The only one I need to send is the content. So this one need to uh, we need to pass the content to it, and then there are other optional parameters we can do like the size, the type, the, all these things. It can be uh, a text message or URL or SMS or phone. These are different types that we can use. So you can have a drop down menu. Uh, to, to do that. Let's not complicate that. Let's create just a basic one. So you come back here and if, if you go back to our page, this is our page. Uh, we created the service. Let's go to our page now and do some uh, link the data. So we'll create a service here and the service is based on our QR generator that's we can put here then we click on it what parameters you're going to pass there is only one parameter we're going to pass from our form from the page we have is something called content so we pass the content to uh sorry i didn't set up the parameter back here i need as i said i need to set up one parameter called content so put content there and add it there it's added and let's go back here and refresh this one. We will go into passing parameters. So we pa this is the content. So we're passing the content from the page 
form to this parameter. That's great, safety. Now, once we do that and it's successful, we need to show the image on that uh, image component. So what we need to do, we need to show the image. You can see there are no parameters here. I don't have parameters. So I have how I can get those uh, parameters? I just go back to my service. And if I do just a basic test here, for example, as you said, we come to WW, uh, w, yeah, www.cmn.com as a URL. And then we do a test. If it's successful, yes, it is successful. And this is what generated. This is the image that will include uh, the QR code. Now we need to create our request parameters. So we click on import and now it's done. So if you go here, we'll have the URL and things. Let's go back again to our page and click here and see, you have the two things. What I need actually, I just need the image. So I can take this, this image and link it to, to the image here. Okay, safety. So there are two things when I invoke this service. One, we're passing one parameter, which, uh, the input uh, content to here. And the other one, we're getting back from the database, from the service, an image that will show it on the page. So if you look at the page, we're passing this one to the service, and the service will return back to us showing the image here. Now, how we do that? We need to, the user, when the user clicks here, it should invoke the service and, and show the page. Now, we should be ready to test it. Let's save it first and click on test. So coming here uh, on the page, and I can put anything here. I'll put uh, www.hct.ac.a. This is our university. You click on it, you get a QR code. If you scan this one, it should take you to the URL to our page. And that's it. That's as easy as it is to generate QR code. So again, to summarize, we use the surface from MASH API to generate the code. We went into QR, uh, into API.io. We created the surface. The surface has uh, the URL which is given to us by MASH API. And then in the request, in the header, we added the key. And on the query, we created one parameter called content because it's required here. And that's all. Now, once we did that, we went back here and created the surface. We passed one parameter from the page, which is the text of content, to the uh, API. And in return, we got an image that we uh, mapped to our uh, image. And the last thing we did is we went into the design, clicked on this one, and we invoke the surface. That's all. Thank you very much. I hope you found uh, this video uh, useful.